I already know what you're going to say based on the thumbnail on the video is Alex, we told you that unless we can put this door traffic miner on top of our refrigerator, then we're not going to make any passive income from this device. Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about how one person specifically that I reached out to on Twitter is getting ready to make a killing with this door traffic miner and has already made some substantial passive income from this device. So we're going to get into the nitty gritty of this door traffic miner by Constellation, also known as the DAG network, get into the details behind it, some of the earnings that are currently people are expecting to have, some of the potential earnings in the future, and how the DAG network has really set itself up for a lot of success, especially with a lot of things that are going to be coming out very, very soon, which we won't really dive in and cover even within this video because we simply just don't have the time to do so. That being said, all I ask is if you do find value in this video is you lightly tap the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you have yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications. And if you do want early access, to crypto mining opportunities, crypto miners, all that and more. You will find a link down below in the description for the private discord. I hope to see you in there. Without further ado, let's jump in the video. Now, I wasn't kidding about the, the whole refrigerator thing because someone actually mentioned in the comments when I first talked about this, when we were still kind of in that unknown territory as to how much thing cost how much you can actually earn from it someone said i'm gonna buy and put one on top of my fridge door i'll be a millionaire and i 100 percent will be in the same ballpark but let's talk about constellation dag network and the duar traffic miner it's been a couple of months since we first talked about it like i mentioned when we first talked about it, we didn't know how much this thing was going to even cost how it would actually work in a lot of ways so quite frankly we were in a lot of unknowns well those unknowns are now crystal clear and in today's video i'm going to be giving a huge shout out to someone who provided me a lot of this information on twitter based on her experience on the passive income side of one of these devices she was part of the first batch but we're going to get into that in just a second but let's talk about this dwar traffic miner now it took off on lattice launchpad lattice is an exchange kind of incubated by constellation kind of part of the overall ecosystem now for those who ordered on day one you would purchase it for about four thousand dollars on staking the l uh, the lattice token in order to receive this now although you won't receive the actual hardware device quite yet you would get an nft that would allow you to start earning right away while you're waiting for your dwar traffic miner to arrive dtm for short now if you ordered later on you would pretty much be paying much closer to the retail price of around fifty five hundred dollars now Obviously, with a lot of unknowns as to how much these devices could actually work, there really weren't a whole lot of people that took up on the first batch. In fact, there's around only about just over 300 people that participated in the first batch. But those 300 people are earning an insane amount and will soon reap very high rewards for being the uh, guinea pigs, I would say for this overall portion of the project launch. And quite frankly, if you're one of the early adopters, those are typically gonna be the ones that they take the high risk, but they also reap the high reward. Now, what we'll see is that currently, what you'll be purchasing the Dwar device for now is retail price of $5,500. So that's the price that we're all going to have to consider. Is it really worth getting one of these? And based on the rewards does it make sense so let's take a look real quick at the up close minute details of the earnings potential of one of these dtm dwar traffic miners now although currently you don't exactly know how much the data is going to be worth that monitors the traffic coming in and out that is in and of itself an entirely separate tier so realize what the numbers that we're working with today do not include the value potential of the actual data 
that is going to be gathered by these devices. So you buy a DTM and you get your NFT. Your NFT is then linked to the Traffic Miner platform. Definitely would need to download their overall app, which I'll show in just a second, in order to connect your wallet and you can kind of see your earnings through there. Now, rewards, even though you don't have the DTM miner in or the DTM in hand, you will start earning right away simply from having ownership of that NFT. And you'll start seeing that there will be opportunities to complete tasks and earn rewards. Now, once you're connected to the platform, they may ask you for geological locations in order to earn data to earn or to get data to earn those rewards. So why they say buy a DTM sooner rather than later. Typically, we've seen this with a lot of protocols, including the likes of Helium. The earlier you get into a protocol, the more likely you're going to earn more than everyone else because you earned a lot more HNT when there was 10,000 hotspots than you do now with six, 700,000. Now, mind you, right now, it's still fairly early as the first batch only included just slightly over 300 DTM devices. Now, as more and more people start to see the opportunity within the dwarf traffic miner and the passive income available, it obviously is going to get saturated rather quickly. So let's take a look at the potential breakdown as far as rewards. Now, the potential rewards they show here is 1,667 DAG tokens, which is an equivalent of, of the current price around $300 per month. And the total rewards pool across a total sample of 3,000 DTM units is 5 million DAG tokens. That's kind of how it all breaks down. Now, mind you, the people that got in the first batch, in the second batch, in the third batch, those are all going to earn a lot more of that percentage of the 5 million DAG tokens. Now, if this isn't all making too much sense, don't worry. We're about to break it down. So a huge shout out to... Uh, crypto twins lizzie on twitter for providing me a lot of the information we have a lot of uh, dms back and forth over the details of her earnings but i go, went ahead and compiled them into this nice little notepad so we can all go over it and get a better understanding as to how much she's going to make <laughs> by being an early adopter into this project now mind you most crypto devices whether it's like gpus or asics they typically take a, a good year for roi on the average typically it's a year sometimes it's slightly over maybe 400 days now with her purchasing the device for four thousand dollars from the lattice exchange launch pad she was able to stake the ltx token to get a spot now started her earnings on march 9th with the DTM NFT before she ever got the device. Like I mentioned, and you know, like we read previously, you can start earning right away once you have the NFT. Now she is a batch one DTM buyer and they have just onboarded batch two, batch three and four later on. Now, the impacting factors for rewards will be the size of the rewards pool and the numbers of DTM registered so as more people come into the project more people realize the potential of passive income the earnings will continue to go down down excuse me now currently batch one is sharing 10 percent of the 5 million rewards pool next month if it goes up another 10 percent batch one and two will share from 20 percent now let's say there's batch three and then batch four it goes up 30 percent and so on and so forth now let's just say that batch one receives their DTM devices. Cause right now everyone's simply earning from the NFTs. But once you receive your DTM device, the DTM devices will earn the opposite of that percentage. So for those people, maybe say you're up to batch three and you're earning 30% of the 5 million. Once you receive a DTM, you'll be earning 70% of that 5 million once you have your DTM device. So DTM device will receive the opposite, which is 70%, while those with NFTs will still receive from the 30%. Now, like I mentioned, the DTMs and batch one stood at 313 DTMs. So if the scenario played out the way that she's expecting, she'd receive over 11,000 DAG per month until batch two would receive their DTM. M's and so on and so forth. So imagine the immense opportunity 
that if you think about 11,000 DAG, that's just shy of $2,000 per month until the second batch gets their DTMs, and then it's going to be slightly less. So not only are you waiting a year for ROI as it's expected, kind of for everyone once they receive their DTM uh, devices, and they're splitting equal percentages of the 5 million tokens, then that's about a 13 month ROI. By being an early adopter, it's pretty much going to be ROIing within a couple of months, which is insane to think about. And the passive income thereafter is only going to, sure, it will go down slightly over time, but then it's just simply pure profit. And that is not to mention the value of the data that the device collects, which isn't even part of these numbers. So you have to kind of think about the uh, immense opportunity that this device offers, but at the same time, it will take time to see what the value of that data is. Will it be an additional one to $200 a month? Will it be an additional $1,000 per month? We still are not sure. And that is obviously going to be one of the main risks is after everyone and a lot of people start getting one of these devices is Soon you're going to be relying more on the data than the rewards pool itself. So definitely something to consider before just jumping into the project with $5,500 with one of these Dwar devices. So if you're interested in learning more about one of these, and if you're interested in getting one of these, highly recommend that you sign up for their email so that you'll be in touch and you'll be, they'll let you know when the next batch of DTMs is going to be available. And if you want to learn more about this device, how it all works, I will provide a link to all of these, this, these details down below. So you are aware of it. Now, you will need to have the wallet, the Stargazer wallet. So this will be able to track all of your earnings from your NFT specifically, but then also your door traffic miner, your DTM. Once you actually receive it, it's the best way to be able to kind of keep track of it all once you have it set up and going. Now, regardless of how excited you may be about the door traffic miner, the passive income opportunity of that, the the reward potential of and the value potential of the data that these DTM devices gather, this doesn't even come close to talking about Hypergraph Network, Hypercube, where this by far, in my opinion, is going to be one of the more exciting things where you can run a node for what Constellation is building out pretty much an ecosystem for developers to build out and create their blockchains using the technology from Constellation, and you could become a node operator for that overall process. That's coming out soon. You've got Mainnet 2.0 launching in the second quarter of 2022, and we haven't even gotten to soft nodes and the passive income that a lot of people are making from these as well. So if all of this doesn't make you bullish on Constellation, the DAG token, I don't know what will but overall i see the value of the door traffic miner personally once the next batch i get alerted via email on the next batch i will be trying my best to be able to snatch one of those up and kind of taken it take that as an experience to see the passive income potential and then maybe try to find somewhere somehow to set one of these up and share passive income with the property owner or something like that. Who knows? It may be a whole video series in and of itself of me trying to walk into one of the largest malls and trying to set one of these puppies up. But that is another video and an entirely different idea. But that being said, hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of the DTM device, the door traffic monitor, and opens your eyes to some of the things that are gonna be coming to Constellation, the DAG network over the coming months and why you should possibly be really bullish on the project in, in its entirety, which like I mentioned, we don't have the time to focus on stuff nodes or the hypergraph and hypercube, some of the stuff that's coming out there with mainnet 2.0 launch, all that and more gives you the opportunity to go do your own research and your own due diligence before making any financial decisions. 
But if you did find value in this video, all I ask in return is you lightly, just lightly tap the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications, you will be notified when I drop videos. And if you do want early access to content like this, crypto miners, crypto giveaways, all that and more, you will find a link down below in the description for that. Until next time, guys, stay invested.